Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to March 2024 reading. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Sag. Hope y'all are doing well. So we're going to take a look at the energy coming into the reading. What's influencing that energy? Recent past. What's on your mind, Sagittarius? Why is it all happening? So what's the main energy for March? What will you experience in the near future? How you see yourself? Outside influences coming in that you don't see yet. Hopes and fears. And what's your outcome? We're also going to clarify. Make sure you always stick around to the very end of the reading. As energies change, you might pick up a little here, a little there. Just leave what doesn't resonate and take what does and use it as advice. All right, let's see what's coming in. What do we got, Sag? Oof, Ten of Swords. What's going on, Sagittarius? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Ten is, you know, final. This is a painful cycle. But nobody freak out because this can also really talk about just being overworked. So if this ends up being career money, it might be a mixture of everything. But with the Ten of Swords, we know coming into the reading, you are laid the bleep, bleep, bleep out. You're just laid the F out, Sagittarius. Or you feel super, super hurt. We're going to see. What's influencing that Ten of Swords? The Strength card. Did a Leo cause it? We don't know. Maybe. Major Arcana for Leo with the Strength card. See, th that's what I was saying here. Coming in, it's like, God, man, I'm beat down. I've been deceived. I've been lied to. Somebody stole my Pop-Tarts. This could even be a really bad fight, but I'm remaining strong. You might even be holding back from somebody that caused this. If it wasn't a work situation, you know, where you're just tired is all F. What's on your mind, Sagittarius? The Five of Wands. Yeah. So the Five is some struggles. Got the Five of Wands. There's your fire energy, Leo Sagittarius. So this is, you know, combative energy, arguments, drama, jealousy. Maybe somebody put you in a competitive situation in the love category. Some of you are really fighting for clout at work, like you've been working really hard and somebody's trying to, you know, one-up you. What happened in the recent past? What went down? There you are, saying hi to mom. Got major arcana for Sagittarius with temperance. So there you go. There you are. You were patiently waiting for something. You may have even completely healed from a person and then here they come with all this drama. And keep in mind, it doesn't have to be love. We'll find out. Why is everything going down in March? Oh, good Lord. I feel like I need to stop the reading and sage. Who is this? What's going on? What's What else is coming? I mean... You know, but the Seven of Swords, more Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I mean, does he look like he has good intentions? He's trying to get away with something. He stole the swords. Now he's going for these swords. So that Seven of Swords can definitely talk about trying to get away with something. Stealing, lying, cheating. Good Lord, Sag. But this could also be you putting a plan in place. We're going to see if that's you or if that's somebody else around you. Coming into the near future, what will you experience? The Eight of Swords. Well, I don't blame you. Look at all the swords showing. Because the swords, yes, it's air energy, Libra, Gemini, Chris, but it's also that energy of like, I can't stop thinking about it. I'm going bat-ish crazy. So, you know, it goes around and around and it can keep you stuck. It's this very stuck energy. Almost feels like somebody wants to keep you stuck, Sagittarius. How do you see yourself throughout March? High Priestess, again, I don't blame you. High Priestess says, I'm just going to kind of be quiet here and keep things to myself. She's super intuitive, Pisces energy, but, you know, also very closed off. You may see yourself in some sort of scandalous situation, some sort of secret is going on, or you're just very closed off. It feel, This kind of feels fear-based, like you're afraid of somebody's motives here. Here, let's pull you closer in, Sag. Y'all, I hope I don't start coughing. I'm sorry. I have just cannot get rid of this cough. It's been hard <clears throat> as I say that and then I cough. What's in your environment coming in? Justice. Woo. Well, the universe has your back. Justice, uh, Major Arcana for Libra. This is something finally going your way. This is karma. Somebody's about to get their karma. Karma's coming. The universe says, hey, Sag, hold my beer. You know what I mean? It's like the, it's something like that where, you know, the universe has your back in some way because this is balance being restored and karma, something, you know, a choice or a decision. What's going on in your hopes or fears? The chair. Yeah, you just want to get the hell out of Dodge. You want to call that water Uber and you wanted it yesterday. Major for cancer. This is just moving on. It's like there's got to be success somewhere else. And this is traveling forward out of this seven of swords because remember, this is why it's all happening. What's the outcome? The lovers. Major Arcana for Gemini. 
I think that you, you, you know, put away those emotions. You're going to be using logic with somebody here because the lovers is a choice or a decision. Some of you have a new romantic partner coming in. It doesn't mean you're, you know, running off to Vegas by the end of the month. It doesn't mean you're even going to be with this person. The lovers could just be a very intense new connection. Feels like soulmate energy. God, for some of you, um, the universe is like, hey, listen, Sad, you've paid your dues. Here, have this soulmate. Now, sometimes that lovers can talk about third energy at play too, and there's a choice or decision there. We'll see. All right, y'all. As always, thank you for all your support. Help me get this video out by liking, sharing, leave your comments below, subscribe. Ooh, too many cards fell out on my floor. Uh, but yeah, if this one hits for you, make sure you like. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel too. I don't know. Got to hit that notification bell. I think like 7%. Of my subscribers um, are notified. That's terrifying. That's very, very shady. Not on y'all's part. I'm just saying that seems really weird. It seems really off. So check that out. Also, too, I'll put the link to the extended reading. It's going to be below in the description box. And I'll pin it in the comment section as well. We're going to do a you versus them. And at the end of this reading, I'm going to pull a card that will be your mutual energy. And then we'll reveal that over on the extended reading. All right, let's check it out. Sagittarius, what does March look like for y'all? I like that you are showing there is temperance in the upright. So you're, you're in, you were in your element, which is good. And for some of you, that energy hasn't hit yet. It feels like a very, I know temperance isn't typically spiritual, but you know, it is about divine timing. It feels like you guys were just kind of patiently waiting to get through this Merc. Coming in, we've got the Ten of Swords. Why is this coming in? Yeah, see, Three of Swords. Who broke your heart? Let me know in the comments. Again, it doesn't have to be love. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. This can also be an argument. There's a third energy here that's causing some drama and some backstabbing. Why is strength influencing that energy, Major Arcana? So again, this feels very much like the universe has your back here. Why is strength here influencing? And the Knight of Pentacles. The, you know, the universe is like, all right, Sag, just slow and steady. It's okay. Somebody may have stole y'all's, stolen y'all's money too, or some sort of um, raise or, you know, something that at your career, at your job that you were trying to go for promotion or something like that. What's on your mind, Sag? During March, you've got the five of wands. What's this five of wands? Your fire energy and the lover's. Gemini, Major Arcana. So on your, on your mind, again, is that inner struggle conflict, but it feels like there's more than one person involved here that's causing that conflict. And again, you're really trying to just use logic over emotion. Like you don't want to like go off on somebody. It doesn't mean you won't, but you're trying not to let your emotions get the best of, of you, right? Choices and decisions, now, for some of you, you know, this is love. And let's face it, maybe you find out somebody that told you, I value you. We have a future. Maybe you found out, well, they're dating your cousin, your sister, and your best friend. Or you know what I'm saying? Like, they're just dating a bunch of people. So it feels like somebody wasn't honest. I mean, I don't know how else to say that. What happened in the recent past? You've got temperance. There you are. Sag and the Eight of Swords, patiently waiting for somebody to compromise. It's like, hey, can we like squash something here? Let's heal this. And the Eight of Swords is, well, you're going to keep me stuck. Feels like somebody gets a kick out of keeping you stuck. That's kind of twisted. Who is it? Let me know. I know a guy who knows a guy. It's all happening because of the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Wands. I mean, that can certainly be you. You are Leo, Sag, Aries, energy with the wands. We got to clarify that again. Why is the Seven of Swords here with the Queen of Wands? Seven of Swords is why this is all happening with the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Ooh, some of you have a scorned lover. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody, and maybe they broke up with you. Maybe they hurt you. Maybe you guys got in a fight. You may not have even broken up. I feel like there's a, a romantic situation here where somebody is mad that you know, you broke up or after you broke up, like you started seeing other people or people were approaching you. This person wants to keep you stuck to them. It's twisted. It's messed up. I don't like it. 
Oh boy, Sag. Coming into the near future, you'll experience and then for others of you, this Queen of Swords, let's let's face it. Let's talk about her. She doesn't like competitors. So this could even be somebody outside of you, a friend, a lover's ex, a coworker, someone like that. They're like, wait a minute, I get all the attention. You know what I'm saying? And they don't like something that you're getting. And, be, you know, this person may have even caused a fight with a, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband. Like, you know what I'm saying? Tell me more. I got to find out now. She's bugging me. Who's this queen of wands? Who's, I may have said swords. I meant wands. Who's this queen of wands? And the hanged man. Yeah, see, somebody that wants to keep you stuck. It could be a coworker or a frenemy. Someone who wants to keep you stuck, doesn't want to see you succeed. Coming into the near future, you've got the Eight of Swords. Why will you experience that in the moon? Yeah. What's going on behind the moon? The moon is confusion. So is the Eight of Swords. It's frustration and confusion and stuck energy. Somebody's put a number on you here. And listen, it doesn't mean they're, you know, a big fat witch with a black cat and an altar. You know, listen, people do that crap. Pretty sad. That karma, karma, justice, that karma always comes back. They think they can block it, but they can't. They don't forever. But, you know, somebody just like thinking bad thoughts about you, right? What a shame. Like how, how low does your life have to be to wish harm onto other people and then actually manifest that energy to happen? It's sick. You see yourself as the high priestess with the ten of swords in reverse. Yeah, you're recovering. You're getting out of it. And this high priestess can work some magic. That high priestess can be somebody, you know, through decept deception and witchery and spirituality cannot always be the best. But you're also getting over this, right? It's about to close out. It's better than it was. It's still there. And it's due to some sort of secrets. I feel like a lot of you in March are kind of going within. You don't want to see a lot of people. You don't want to talk to a lot of people. You want to do you. What's in your environment? Justice? Why? With the Ten of Wands closing out. So it's that energy, that karma, ener that karmic energy that's coming in with justice. The universe is saying, okay, it's almost done. Let's take off a load. Let's take the load off. Because the Ten of Wands is pressure. It is a long cycle. It's just feeling heavy and weighed down by an energy. But justice comes to balance all that out for you. So do a lot of meditation this month, connecting with your spirit guides. If you do that, I would, you know, cleanse, do all that kind of good stuff. What's going on in your hopes or fears? You've got the chariot. I mean, who could blame you? Sad. You just want to move on. With the Knight of Cups in reverse. People that are just in and out of your life. If it is romantic, somebody that gives you the cup and then takes away the cup. You know, that Knight of Cups in reverse can be a big fat player right? And you just want to move on from that energy. Also keep in mind that chariot is very much about, you know, gain, regain control of things that are out of control, obstacles. You're pulling back on those reins and you're in control and then you can move forward. And it's because of the Knight of Cups in reverse. This can also be jealousy. Do you have somebody around you that's jealous or somebody that doesn't want you to be with like their ex or, y'all, it is something like that. Get some tourmaline. Do I have any tourmaline on my desk? Tourmaline, get a nice size that fits in the palm of your hand and put that bitch under your bed, at your front door, wherever. All right? What's the outcome? We've got the lovers. Why is this here? Gemini energy. Lover, what, what's up? And the Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I think you're going to feel a lot better by the end of March. The Page of Cups, of course, is communication coming in right? I think it's new. I think you have a new, it could be just like a new friend or something like that or somebody you meet at work, but I, I don't know. I just think with this in this deck, the lovers, I feel like it's a new um, love relationship. And I do think it's new because of the Page of Cups. Could somebody here come in and apologize? Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like this would be in reverse because they're an immature bleep, bleep, bleep. So I would say, look, you know, look out for somebody that wants to be around you. And by the end of the month, I think you'll be a lot more open to that. Page of Cups might be at work. Eight of Pentacles. I also feel like a lot of you, Sag, you have your sights on a big project or promotion or something big going on at work. Um, and, you know, don't try not to let this distract you. Easier said than done. But... Now, in love, we're going to find out over on the extended reading, you versus them. And hey, that's for you singles too. That'll be the person coming in. A lot of y'all definitely have a new connection coming in. I'm telling you, doesn't mean you'll take it. 
but we'll check it out over there and see how all of that plays out for the month of March. All right, let's pull a card. I'm going to shuffle and I'm going to flip over, or I'm going to put down the card face down and this will be your mutual energy with this person and we'll check it out on the extended. There it is. All right, Sagittarius, I will see y'all over on the extended reading. I love you hard. Love me hard back and we'll speak soon.